Hello, I'm going to show you today the Nanlink app operation instructions. First of all, open the app. Sign up. Input your email address here. Add an account name, choose a password, and confirm the password. Receive the verification code and agree and finish the registration process. Type in your chosen account name and password. Then log in. Tap at the top left. We can see our account information, new scene, new group, sort by and settings, and also the about. Tap the settings and we can see the account settings, language and feedback and prevent device sleeping. Make sure the Bluetooth is switched on. Switch on the light. Reset the Bluetooth. Tap at the top left. Tap new scene. Type in whatever name we like. Tap create. Tap and enter. Tap to add new fixture. We can see via Bluetooth or via 2.4G. Choose via Bluetooth. Choose the light we need and tap done. We can see the battery status from inside the app. We can turn on and off and we can look at other settings, such as rename. Reset name. Change address. Tap to enter. Choose CCT mode. We can increase the brightness or decrease it. Select CCT color and adjust the GM. Select HSI mode. There are brightness options. Hue range changes. We can also match colors by clicking the camera icon. Tap done. Effect mode. Choose hue loop. We can adjust the brightness and saturation and speed pixel effect choose process select a background color of your choice select the speed the gradual change button allows us to have a slow in and slow out when adjusting the brightness. We can turn this on and we can turn this off. Tap to make a second reaction setting. Tap at the top right and we can change the address code. When a light that has a fan is connected, we can control the fan via the app. Make sure the Bluetooth is switched on. Switch on the lights and reset the Bluetooth as before. Tap new scene. Type in a name of your choice. Tap to add a new fixture and select via Bluetooth. Choose the lights we need And select done. Tap new group. Add the lights we need and select done. Tap the group name to enter. 
select CCT mode, control the brightness, control the color temperature, the HSI mode, the hue mode, When the effect settings are not in sync in the same group, we can tap restart effects to make sure they're synchronized. Console mode. Tap console. We can make the intensity adjustments of all lights in the group to be in sync. How to create presets and save for one light or multiple lights. Enter the control interface and make adjustments for the preset. Tap the plus icon to save those settings. Select HSI mode. Select the chosen parameters. Tap the plus icon to save those settings. Tap preset. Select A to enter. Select B to enter. Go back to the scene, tap at the top right, tap presets. And manage the fixture presets. Then we can gather all the presets and make adjustments for the presets directly. Select A, tap done. Then choose B, control those parameters and tap done. The current operation is only for the parameter settings of those presets, which will not control effects of the lights. You'll find the parameters successfully adjusted when you return to the control interface to recall the stored presets. The scene preset is to make preset saving specific to parameter settings for all those lights in a single scene. Add the fixture settings according to the actual shooting requirements. Tap the current fixture group. Enter the controlling interface for that group to make the parameter settings for all the lights in that group. Tap the current single light fixture. Enter the control interface to make parameter settings for that specific light. Tap at the top right, tap preset, choose scene preset, tap the plus icon to save those settings. Repeat the above steps and we could switch the multiple scene presets that have been saved according to the actual shooting needs.